GPU that we're going to be testing today is the R9 280X. The R9 280X was released in October of 2013 and it has three gigabytes of DDR5 RAM and it has a clock speed of 850 megahertz with a 384 bit bus. How well does this card hold up in 2016 and 2017? Now, today we'll be testing games on my main system, which is a 6700K, 24 gigabytes of DDR4, and a 750 watt power supply. Another reason I want this build over the other one was this has the correct power pins to run it as well. Now let's get right into the benchmarks. Jack it up. So, that GPU performed pretty well. The 280X performed well over 60 in most games. Now the games that ran under, stuff like GTA 5 and um, Fallout 4, were very simple. I was running them at their set presets, or their generic ones, which had their anti-aliasing up, which dragged down performance. Turning down the anti-aliasing, or mixing a little bit of medium settings in there, would easily get you a very playable 60 FPS. Now, most games ran well over 60 FPS, and the benchmarks show it. Now, this, this card holds it very well, and the fact that it can run DX12 half decently does very well, because in, even in times by my personal best card, the GTX 980, struggles very much with that benchmark. Now, for if you can get an R9 280X for less than 100 bucks, maybe even less than 80, hell yeah, pick up this card, it is one hell of a steal. I would recommend having a, a very good PSU though. So, but if this card's over a hundred bucks, I do not recommend it as there is better cards used. And even on the new market, obviously there are cards that beat it. 
Anyway, guys, this is Savage Tech. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, favorite, and subscribe. And if you didn't, get out of here, you fucking scrub.